What is up, everybody? It is Joe from J Libby Games coming at you with another cool video slash live stream, and today we are back in Planet Coaster, and we are playing uh, Silver Dollar City once again. So um, I actually just before this episode saved all my blueprints that I needed for the previous episodes, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using the scenario editor to give us a bigger world, which if you didn't know, we can actually have a slightly bigger worlds now because of the scenario editor. We can actually go back here. It used to, it was about right here where my cursor is. Now we can go all the way back here and we can add that much more to the, uh, to the world. So this might be just enough, just what I needed to fit Silver Dollar City inside one map. So that's what I'm hoping for. We're going to try it out. I saved my blueprints from our previous builds uh, throughout the series that we've been doing. And uh, I actually saved Outlaw Run. All these are Outlaw Run. I couldn't do it in one because there was too many pieces. So I'm going to have to piece it together. But that's okay. We're going to get it done just fine. And it's going to be awesome. So we have that. And then I also have this Silver Dollar City entrance sign. Uh, which I have also saved wherever it's at um, it's it's in there but the Silver Dollar City entrance sign which I'm very 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 proud of I, I spent like an hour working on that sign <coughs> just to get it uh, the way I wanted it to so could have swore I saved it it's got to be in here maybe I didn't <laughs> I possibly not may have not have saved it, but uh, there's actually before we get started, I'm actually going to go head into the that into that world and get those a uh, couple of buildings as well. So that way I have those. So what we're going to be typically doing today is we're going to be heading in. Um, again, I'm not losing any progress. I saved everything as a blueprint, at least except for this. I thought I already had it saved as a blueprint, but maybe I didn't. So. We're going to head into the Silver Dollar City save, other Silver Dollar City save. Uh, here it is, the SDC entrance. And we're going to save these blueprints real quick. And we're going to get back in, and that way we don't lose any progress that we've already built uh, in the parks as well that I've done in uh, multiple worlds. But I'm going to move everything. Uh, I'm going to be moving everything into the new world. That way I have more space. I could just add it, or actually just edit this as a scenario, but I don't want to do that. I want to, there's something special that I'm going to do um, uh, for this. So we're going to be saving this. Alright, this is the Silver Dollar City sign itself. So let's save that as a blueprint. I'm so proud of this sign, of how it turned out. So yes, essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking, um, we're going to be taking these, all these blueprints and putting them in the new world. So that way, uh, I can reset the world. So again, we're not losing any progress. Uh, let's make this, I don't know, a statue maybe? <laughs> or scenes, it doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter as long as it's there. Okay, and then I can save this building piece that goes with it. I suppose, is that connected? I guess that's not connected. I thought that that might have been connected. Well, what I'm going to do now, let's just go ahead and save all this as one. That way we can place it down as one piece. Alright, that's what we're going to do. That way it saves us all one piece and we don't have to place it down in uh, sections. That way, because there's, there's enough. We'll just call this Silver Dollar City Entrance. Alright. Silver Dollar Cities <laughs> Entrance. There we go. Good, good enough. All right, we'll make this a large building or something like that. Large building that works. All right. So now, um, as for the uh, actual entrance, I'm gonna save this as well with the tree because the, tr the tree is actually there as well. Uh, so is this those Ozark market. This is those Ozark marketplace. I'll save this as a separate thing. 
Uh, how many objects we have? Not that many, so that will work just fine. Right, save this blueprint as well. SDC. We'll just call it turnstiles. There used to be turnstiles, but they don't have turnstiles anymore. They actually just scan your ticket now, and you don't have to use a turnstile. All right, good. I think there's an entrance category. Work entrances, there we go. Even though, I hate this. Sometimes I'll click on something and it doesn't actually want to do it. So, where is the entrance? See, I click on it. Staff, I didn't click staff management. Why does it do that? I don't know. It's kind of wonky sometimes. I go to click on this and it clicks on, and something else comes up. Staff, I'm not clicking staff management. I'm clicking park entrances. You can see it's even highlighted. And it's not even... You know, at this point, I don't really care. We're just gonna... <laughs> save it as a large building. <laughs> this was the start of guest relations. I think I might restart that building. Just because I don't care how that was turning out. So, alright, now we're gonna jump out of here. And head back into our world. And then, I know terrain editing is gonna be terrible uh, to work with. But, uh, I got... I'm going to really use, uh, and try and use this strategy that I'm going to do. Hopefully it works. I don't know. And what I'm going to try and do is actually use, um, we're going to try and be using uh, Google Earth to kind of guide us through this, hopefully. So that's going to be the idea. I'm going to delete everything I can in this world. Just everything. Rocks included. I don't want anything in my way. I think this is the furthest I can edit out here, so um, we're going to be placing everything ourselves. And hopefully we can fit everything in here. I even saved the Hilo silos uh, that I was working on in the worlds earlier. Alright, so that is good there. And now we have our world. And now I am going to open... Uh, Google Earth. I have Google Earth open on a separate screen. I'm going to see how this works. Uh, I have so many things open, I w wish I had like a third monitor at this point uh, at the moment, but I don't. <laughs> I could definitely use that. Okay, so I got to get a feel of where everything's going to go. And this what's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be zooming out on Google Earth and kind of zoom out in the same perspective over here at a certain angle to see if I can fit everything in here, all right? And I gotta make sure I put it in the right spot. So I don't know if I wanna go diagonal, if that would help. It just might help. Or if I just wanna start from here. Because the thing that was gonna hard to be, hard to fit in was like uh, areas like Grand Exposition and everything like that. So where we're gonna start at is we're actually going to try and fit in, uh, we got our blueprints for Outlaw Run and uh, that area over there. So I'm just going to try and get a feel of where we're going to start terrain wise. Um, we can start on the entrance and get around to Outlaw Run as well. Uh, so we have the front of the park and the back of the parks that we have started on. And um, I also have Time Traveler as well in a blueprint uh, without the spinning cars, of course. It's just there for um, uh, viewing pleasures. So. Um, Maybe someday we'll get a mock uh, spinning coaster in the game. Who knows? Uh, that would be a f definitely be really cool. All right, so... One thing I did want to include in the game, in this build, is actually include the cave. Actually include, Mar include Marvel Cave in the game. Uh, that's something that I've really particularly wanted to add. I know it's going to be tough. But um, uh, I think I'm going to put it on a smaller scale and uh, just go from there. So um, let's see. If I angled this here and put the cave, if I put the cave right here, we put the entrance here. Outlaw Run would be back in that area. Again, I'm going to try and maybe put the cave on like a smaller scale, possibly. 
I gotta leave enough room over here. So we would have to do it, essentially do it somewhere around here. I gotta leave room for like uh, thunderation and uh, all that stuff. And then all that would go out here. So if I did the entrance and cave right here, that would leave, I gotta make sure I leave room for like wildfire and all that, all that stuff as well. There's just so many details that I want to add, and I might even scale some stuff down to fit the entire thing in one map, so. Because I want to fit, uh, like, the robber shack for the steam train and stuff as well, but, again, we got some bigger maps to work with now, but it's going to be a lot more, it's still going to be difficult, it's still not going to be easy, so, uh, I'm trying to figure out where I should put the entrance. And what would be the most beneficial here? Uh, putting, putting stuff, so. And I know I'm taking a lot of time through this, but uh, I have to, to get the dimensions right, everything right on this. So I don't think I'm gonna include any parking, parking on, the on this uh, build, uh, but just because I don't have the space to do it. As much as I would love to add some parking, Hey, the Sword Art City signs in 3D. That's a nice touch for Google Earth. <laughs> but I gotta get this right in... Uh, right off the bat. So if I don't... Oh, I guess I'm on street view. It's a ground level view. <laughs> so if I don't get it right, I'm gonna have to... It's going to be a pain to move stuff around. So I've had the idea of maybe starting in the Thunderation uh, Time Traveler area next to the road. And starting there, because that's actually some difficult terrain to work with or figure out. And uh, if I start there, because I think I'm going to put it right on the edge of the map. if I put it right on the edge of the map um, that will also give me an idea of where uh, Grand Exposition is and everything the Grand Expo Let's see how much of a because I was thinking about even making just the road going across here so if I make the road go across here um, Make the road go across here. Grand Expo will be right here. Thunderation, Time Traveler. And then the road will disappear off the screen. Going up a hill. The, that would leave the entrance actually way over here. So the entrance would be actually towards the front here. Hmm. All right, so I think I've made up my mind of how I'm going to do this. I'm going to start with some stuff, and we'll see how it turns out. So I'm going to start up a little higher up here, maybe. We're just going to start up a little higher here. I wish it kind of would at least like blend <laughs> with each other here, but it doesn't want to. Oh, uh, maybe I'll. It would actually look better if I started at ground level here, and then if we just work down, maybe that work. I think there's no matter what, there's going to be a spot that's going to be like, eh, you know. 
So this is going to be, the, of course, the hardest part of, of doing this park. Terrain. All right, so we're gonna make the entrance area. We got some blueprints that we can work with. And we're gonna get this going. I'm just gonna create myself a lot of space here. Uh, that way there's enough to work with. And then we'll go and edit it later accordingly. So we're gonna be putting <clears throat> essentially the entrance. If I can get Google Maps to work the way I want it. Okay, so essentially It's not too far away from each other, and I can, I can make that work. Maybe, <laughs> hopefully, that's the that's the goal. So, I got I got to use the space to my advantage. All right, so let's go into the blueprints, and we're gonna plop this sucker down. We're gonna go Silver Dollar City, and here's our entrance. And I had started on the ticket area and stuff, so that there so we have the silver to our city entrance all right so if I put this here um, I'm gonna be sorry if this is like very long and taking my time but I have to get this right okay so this is gonna be the ticket building all right so that's where those bathrooms are the ticket booth and everything will be right here that parking lot it's just off to the right, Thunderation, and everything's right here. So I think I can go over just a little bit more. We're going to go over just a little bit more. And um, I'm going to make the pathway just in front of it here, and we'll make a guest spawning point about where the uh, stuff starts. So we're going to put that there. And we're going to get some pathways moving in here as well. Uh, to kind of get that started as well. So <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and do this. This will be all right. Ah, I didn't click. I guess I didn't make that. That's okay. We can just copy and paste this piece over here since apparently I messed it up. Doesn't fit as well there. Did I run out of music? I must have ran out of music. Huh. There we go. Get the music back on. So how are you going to make Time Traveler? That's a good question. I had already have a blueprint of Time Traveler that I built. Uh, but it does not have the spinning cars on it. So, But it's just going to be for looks. Uh, I use the Gerslayer Eurofighter track because that is the resembles Time Traveler's track the most. So as of right now, that's what we used. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this. I'm actually going to change the grid size, and maybe if I move this shorter, there we go. Something I want to do eventually when I finally get the park done, if I ever get the park done, hopefully I will. I, I plan on getting the park done, <laughs> but when I finally get the park done, I do want to create like a Christmas version and just add tons of lights. But th this is far down the line. But this time I think I'm finally get this is the world. I'm feeling pretty good about this world. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm pretty feeling pretty good about this world this time. The one thing that's going to be tricky like always is going to be pathing. But now we have those barriers. Which makes me happy, because since we have the barriers where we don't want guests walking around, those barriers are going to be our best friend right now, because I can place path wherever I want, and just put 
barriers uh, in the way. And hopefully they won't go through. For the most part, they shouldn't go through the objects. So if I like did this and then put barriers around the uh, around this, they're not going to walk into it, through it. So that's the hopes, though. That's the hopes that that way I can just plop down all these paths pathways using the grid system, and uh, they won't go through here as long as I use the barriers. So if I use the barriers, so these. So if I plop these down, like right underneath these, my hopes are is that they're not going to go underneath them, or through them. So that's the hopes. So ju we're just going to place these underneath these. And the hopes are is that the guests are not going to uh, go through them. If it gets over, I think they said if it gets like overcrowded, they might cut through them but it's not a huge deal if they do I'm just gonna try and do my best to keep the guests away from this area these areas <laughs> oh yeah can we see it yes I, I I'll plop it down for now just so you can take a look at it uh, I did it in a the previous episode I think is when I built it So yeah, uh, I'll plop it down just, so you, just for your viewing pleasure for right now. So we got um, Time Traveler. There she is. Ha ha. And you know how the, crazy the terrain is, so it is kind of crazy. And you know, it's just kind of a rough draft. I think I'm going to change it up a little bit later on, but... Um, I'll tell you what the hardest part was, is to get everything inside this freaking vertical loop. <laughs> that was the hardest part. And then the launches, I had to adjust a lot on the, uh, all that stuff. I didn't make the building just yet, but, but yeah, there's Time Traveler's, uh, basic layouts. It's not, not 100% accurate, but it's pretty good. <clears throat> but as you can see, it's, it turned out pretty nicely. But as you can see, I use the Gersal Euro Fire trains. Um, I don't know what what all can we use for the uh, train types. The Enigma. Make it a stand-up coaster. Uh, there's no spinning coaster on here, so we can't use a spinning coaster, unfortunately. So that is not currently an option. But we can use any of these if we wanted to. <laughs> I think the closest that would actually work is the Looney Turns, because they're not—they're uh, not spinning, but they are like the mock style coaster. I think it's like the Big Dipper, their Big Dipper model. So it's going to be the closest thing that we can get at the moment until we get spinning cars. So. So that's the, like the closest we're gonna get at the moment. But we'll get into that once we get Time Traveler all in there and stuff. It's gonna be nice and beautiful. Here, I'll even let it run for you guys so you can see it go through the track. <laughs> of course, I changed the train, so it might not be. <laughs> the only problem with it is you can't have like multiple cars on it too. It's gonna kind of go slow through everything. It looks weird without the terrain terraformed to to it properly. I don't have the stop there. I could put a block break there to make it maybe come to a stop like it actually does. And then this swoop down into the, the vertical loop. Oh, I went through the... I, That'd be so cool if that actually happened. Because the launch section is actually going to be a block section, so, in real life. I don't know if it's even going to make it up this hill. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. Oh, no. They're gonna hit each other. I didn't create the block section. <gasps> Boom. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Enough of that. Let's go ahead and get back into this. Okay, so there's a little planter. I'm hoping they expand the... Uh, I'm hoping that they're going to expand the uh, different cars that you can have, but it is a very good feature. I'm glad that they have it. There's some certain things on there that are actually very nice to have, but uh, there's a couple things that, uh, a couple of them that I was hoping that was going to be in there, but it is not, uh, which a lot of people thought. So I was hoping that their spinning car was going to be on the Gerslayer uh, Eurofighter, but it is not going to be, unfortunately. So. That was kind of su kind of sucked, but it's okay. It'll be all right for right now. All right, so we got this, and now we're going to place this little spot. Um, <clears throat> I actually have some reference photos on my phone. I actually have like real life photos. Let's see if I can find those. Took quite a few entrance photos of the park not too long ago. Let's see if I can find what I need. There's a good spot. There's some of the ticket, the ticket building. I do need to go in and get some uh, more reference photos as I go along, but these will work for right now because this is the entrance and that's what we're working on. All right, I'm trying to figure out, find the perfect photo here. This is probably one of the best ones. Along, using that with Google Earth might actually help quite a bit. So we got like this rock formation going on here. So we're gonna go ahead and look at, into that. <clears throat> so we're gonna head into some rocks, tech, rocky stuff here. I'd say this would be a bit the best one to use. We're gonna keep them pretty small. I'd say probably about right there. And now I'm just gonna put some Rock formations down here and create, just kind of create the, uh, the outline kind of of what this is going to go, where this is going to go. Then I can delete the pathways I need to delete, and then I'm going to put down some barriers. So we'll go down, and once the path changes to that color, that's when it goes down there. So there we go. It's got some planters in it, and it's also where the uh, big rotating wheel is. <clears throat> so it'd probably be a part of this building, and we got this rocky texture. All right, so there's probably a couple more p pieces of pathway going through here. So let's create another section of path with this texture. And I would say we're going to go, let's go back into the building. And it uses this kind of like brick texture here. Let's see if we can find a good texture to use on this. So we can use that one. That one wouldn't be too bad. I'm trying to see if I can't find anything that would work the best. Maybe if I change the color of that one, possibly. Got the rough texture. Then we got the sandstone. If I could change the color of that one, that would actually be a pretty decent one to use. But I can't change the color of it, so. Might even use some stuff from the spooky pack, you never know. Alright, I think our best bet would be this one. 
changing the colors to that kind of that cream color. More yellowish tint to it. Alright, so this is gonna go. Let's see if I can get a good reference photo of where this is. Okay, so this wall's got a little angle to it. Therefore, um, this is behind the wall, isn't it? Yes. All right, just hold on there, so I'm not <laughs> just gonna hold in there until I find out what I need to do here. I would say probably right here is a good spot. Yeah, we'll go with here. I would say it's about two two pieces up here. Maybe a little less, but it's gonna take one of these. It's flush with that. That piece there. And then we got the kind of like the mill building here. It's kind of got that orange-reddish color to it. Oops. Oh, I'm going to set the lighting to stay bright here. And then it goes like halfway in here, so we're going to have to change the grid size down so it comes out about right there. Perfect. And then this is where the mill actually sits. Let's see if I can find a good picture of that. Uh, I have to make that just like that. There we go. It's starting to look look good. All right, so the little mill spot is right there. Just might move. Just might move this back. All just a little bit. Give more space for that. Hmm. I could possibly go all the way back there, but. Which I think would be a good idea. Maybe, maybe, maybe one more up. <laughs> Alright, so there are some supports right underneath this. So I think we'll just use some wooden pillars here. These might even work. I need something a little bit bigger than that. These will probably work better. And they are the same exact color, so. And they are just under, kind of like this. Guess I need to get the color correct. Let's go a little more on the oranger side. Alright, that will be close. I have notifications coming up on my PC, so I can't click anything. Okay. Trying to get to the right reference photo again. Looks like there's multiple supports here, so we'll put those there. Then there's tiny little windows at the top. So we'll get to those windows here. 
And I say we can use... Let's see, let's use... Gotta be pretty small. Almost like these. Except that direction. And they are actually white, so we're gonna change that color to white. And there are three of them, so we're gonna click this down. Like so. And then there are some shutters on the outside of them. And also a planter in front of it as well. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, let's get some, let's create our own custom shutter, I guess. They're very thin pieces, very thin. Let's turn on the angle snap. I have to go with the smaller pieces. Just a little bit longer. Okay, so we ran out of music once again. I'm just gonna keep repeating. <laughs> we'll just take these out here, like so. And then there is a very tiny, might even have to go as far as go in and find something for this. I think it's small enough. I wish we had some smaller pieces in here. Just gonna see if there were any. All right, so I think I can do this. We're gonna give this that nice orange color. Orangish, reddish, closer to red. And it just kind of rolls across here. Kind of like that. All right, we'll create another one. Guess I didn't get that piece, but that's okay. We can just do this, boom. And we got ourselves some nice windows. Now we just need to get some planters underneath here. Or window boxes, whatever you want to call them. fit in here properly here. These kind of stick out a little bit further than these two, so just kind of fuse them together here. And then the kind of like the rotating wheel. I don't know where that is. I'm just going to put in wheel. See what comes in. <laughs> Those are too small. This is what I need. Haha. -ha. Actually rotates too. That actually is almost perfect. Except I don't know if this is there. Let me take a look here. Oh, it is. Perfect. And it's almost like perfectly sized, too. I can put it up as much, as far as I need to as well. So that works. It's right up against those windows, too. All right. That, that works. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how well that works, so. And I think there might be a little water here. That's gonna, that's gonna be my guess. <laughs> And I wonder if you can make this triggered. Yeah, you can. But I'll let it rotate for right now. So we'll let that rotate at the moment. I'm 
going to make this piece just a little bit longer before we get there. And I'm going to adjust the rocks here a little bit more. And this will go... Gotta find my reference photos again. Always got, always looking for those darn reference photos. Yes, this goes and connects with, lines up with this right here. So that's how that's gonna work out. And there's like this huge bush right here. Like ginormous bush. See if we can mimic it. Yeah, pretty well. <laughs> Rotate it, make it look like it's all one one bush here. Alright, good. There's a little plant here in a bucket. I don't even know if we have that. Or is there do we have a bucket? Snowman, there's a snowman bucket, but I don't want that bucket. Actually, let's just go to, would be under Western theming, <clears throat> if anything. I thought there was one. I thought there was possibly something, but... Like a little wooden bucket. Round wooden bucket. I don't know if there is. Ba -da -da -da. I'm not seeing any. I'll check under building, but if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be under scenery. Oops. But you never know. You never know what you might find. It could be under decorations. But not seeing anything, so for right now, we'll just leave that as is. And we're just going to throw in some nature. When I say that, we're just going to plop all these guys down. There's just a lot of little bushes here and everything. At least that's how we're going to do it. I have to say, I'm pretty excited about this. This looks awesome. I'm excited for this. I hope you guys are. Alright, let's finish up the rocks here. Let me get some... Some smaller ones here. I'm just going to kind of... Put them wherever I can find them. Then we're going to put barriers underneath them. And hopefully no guests will walk through here. At least that's the hopes. Alright, that one doesn't matter as much. It's starting to look pretty cozy. That looks too... Like, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited for this, too. I can't wait to get this done. I want it... Now that I finally have some more space to work with, I'm hoping to get this, uh, this series up and going a little bit more. Alright, and I think there's supposed to be a little bit of water here. Um, and we're going to try and figure out how I'm going to do that. I can either sink down the terrain a little bit, and then possibly possibly see. Let's try that first. We're going to have to change the size down tremendously here. I'm going to have to push it down just a little bit. The pathway is going to interfere with it a little bit.
See if I can't get any water in there. Nope. Didn't think I would. I have another idea. I don't know how well it's going to work. But we'll see. And my other idea is to maybe look... I don't know. I'm just going to have to try it out. Is to get like a fountain in here. And just like hide up the borders and then it looks like water. If I use this one, it's a little bit more in theme, so it might work a little better. And then just like put a lot of different de decorations around it so you can't see the border and you can just see the water. Something like that. You know, something along those lines. Makes things just a little bit easier. I know it's just like, yeah. See, and then we can just put like some rocks around it. But it's got a good look to it. I like it. As soon as we get uh, all this covered up, you'll go, yeah, that's believable. You know, I, I I'm believing it. I don't know about you, but I believe in it. I believe that that looks... That, that's a good fake right there. That's just a good fake. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm going to try and find something. What was it? There was something that looks a lot like dirt. And I can't put my finger on it what it was. But it's got a good dirt kind of texture. I want to say it was one of the festive things. I need something that looks... Has a nice little... That kind of looks like dirt. If I turn this brown, would this, would this look good? Eh, no. <laughs> um... I mean, I could use some... Find some custom textures and use the screens. You know, that's never a bad idea. I mean, I could go look for some right now if I wanted to. In fact, I'm gonna see what I can find on the interwebs. Dirt texture. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I need to find a specific size, so settings, let's go tools, size, exactly, let's go 20 by 1080, that way the proportions will look okay. Oh, this is perfect. All right, I'm going to save this directly in the Frontier. Let's see, that's under Documents. Frontier Development, Planet Coaster, User Media. Ooh, I don't know if this is going to be... The uh, supported file. All right, here's a JPEG file. This one will work. It's like the exact same thing. So, all right, documents, frontier developments. Where are you? There you are. Planet coaster user media, and we're gonna save you right in here. This is gonna be surface dirt stones. I gotta remember that name. All right, so I got that in there. Let's get it. Let's do it. All right, so we're going to go into scenery and let's see if we can find a pretty awesome and see if the, how well this texture works. So I'm gonna use. Let's not use too big of a screen. Let's use this one. Let's see how well this looks. We're going to use image. We're going to go files. And it was... I got so many thing, textures in here. Let's 
find this new texture, wherever it is. I might even press the uh, refresh, just to make sure. If it saved, it's a J it was a JPEG, so I would think it would be in there. Surface dirt, there it is. All right, let's see how this looks. Oh, it's definitely brighter than I thought it would be. That's one thing about these that makes it brighter, because it was actually a dark um, dirt texture. Huh. Interesting, I mean, it works. It's not bad, it works. It definitely works. All right, so if I can do this correctly. I'm gonna create a couple of these. See how well they blend together if I kind of do this. It's just kind of like I can see through you, Joe. You're trying to cheat the system here. And it would be right. All right, that blends fairly well together when you just kind of rotate it. A lot better than I thought it would uh, blend. Oh, gosh. gonna put a couple over here as well that we have that way we have all that covered there we go that's and now we just kind of have like a dirt texture there and that looks looks pretty good um, I was expecting it to be a darker texture because I think it's a lot darker in real life but that's okay I might even be able to change it I mean you got a little bit of a battling texture issue here but to fix that you can just kind of like raise it up and down a little bit sometimes that will actually get rid of those fighting textures properly pretty well See? yeah it's a nice little tip that I have if you want to get rid of those battling textures I mean you're gonna get some lines though that's the only thing but overall there we go you can usually fix it pretty well there we go I actually like that texture I'm glad I have that texture now so we'll keep that texture in mind, and we can use it throughout the park. So that will be nice. So when I like up update the park, or like uh, up, or when I actually upload it, upload the park, uh, I'm, I will definitely have all the textures available as well. So. So that's starting to look pretty good right there. I'm actually pretty excited of how that's looking. And uh, we're going to go into the ticket booth area now. This is the ticket booth for Sovereign City. And uh, I got some pretty good pictures here of this. So we'll see how this turns out. It's got some, like, large pillars, very large pillars, uh, with some signs on it. So I could actually use that. Um, like, with, it, has, it has, like, the information on it and everything those kind of pillars so they're pretty pretty hefty like this pretty big column actually put you roughly around right here is this the one in the middle oh, there's actually two so roughly around like that and then you have the ticket booths actually on the inside here so I'm gonna grab the we're gonna grab this. So I'm gonna go through that texture. Yeah, it is. Mm hmm Which I got an idea. That will actually cover this up. 
Alright, it looks like my sound has paused again. But it's okay. I've been streaming for nearly an hour. Where did time go? <laughs> oh, so that's how that looks. Okay. So we got this little kind of like balcony deck kind of thing hanging off the, the, off the side here of that. So let me see if I can get a decent see a decent reference photo of this. There's a couple more of these windows too of uh, these. So I'm just going to actually copy this. Don't mind if I do. It's like a, it's technically like a smaller version of this. Interestingly enough. So I'll put that on the side there. And then it's got another kind of longer one right next to it, but I want to make sure I got enough room here. All right, so what we're going to be using, it's got to be green, so we're going to make like our own custom deck here. We're going to deck it out. Ha! I, I crack myself up way too much sometimes. We're going to deck this out. <laughs> Sorry. It must be painful to watch watch sometimes just yeah <laughs> all right uh, this is the long one so it's just kind of like in the center here so we're just gonna it starts roughly around this first pillar just a little further out from that first pillar so what we're going to do is I'm just going to place some of these. And hopefully we don't get this diagonal crap. Yeah. It's actually going to work the way I want it. That doesn't go too far out, so we're just going to throw it out here. That'll probably be long enough. All right, I'm gonna get a medium-sized piece here, and then it's got like these little support beams right under it. Kind of like so. There's only a couple of them. There's not a whole lot of them. And it's got this nice little fence around it. Kind of like a thin wooden fence. That's very thin. So I don't know if we have any fences. Let's take a look. In game. Oh, I'm in the wrong area. We gotta be under scenery. Let's see if any of these were actually would work well. A lot smaller than that. No. Spooky fence. Nope. Picket fence. Nope. <laughs> um, none of these really work too well. Then again, nothing. Nothing really works well. <laughs> It's a, it's a very simple fence, too. And yet I can't find anything. <laughs> I mean, the closest thing is probably the metal fence, maybe. But it is technically a wooden fence. Actually, this is probably the closest. If I was to sink that down... Eh, it's not thin enough. It's got to be 
thinner, so. Don't have anything like that that's thin. Like very thin wooden pieces that can be recolored into, that, that are white. So it is a white fence. But, um, while I'm trying to look for that, I can actually, we can actually use this. And there are two of these right here, and then there's also a door on the bottom right. So we will place that door. It is a white door that is kind of like a barn style. We'll just use this one. And then these also have some planters on them, so we can just just gonna stick some of these on here. These planters don't look exactly the same, but they are going to work for now. These little window boxes, planters, whatever you want to call them. All right, that's starting to look very home, very nice. All right, so one thing I'm going to do now, while we can, is I'm going to create or build the uh, curbs here to try and prevent guests from walking through here. You can, it's nice that I can see the other ones underneath. I, I like that touch that they made it that way. Because my goal is to kind of hide these. I don't want guests to see them. So I guess I can place these down and then I can cover up what's ever, what, a, what is showing. It's okay if they go through a little bit of here, but... These are nice little pieces. A uh, nice little touch. These little, these little curbs that guests are gonna uh, meant to actually walk around. We'll test it, but so we're gonna go through here, place all these. And then we'll cover up what's showing. There we go. All right, let's get into some, a little bit of rock work and cover up. Cover these up here. Just a couple of pieces that are showing. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. There we go, that looks pretty good. I see another spot right there. All right, so that's looking pretty darn good. I'm actually very, very proud of how that's looking at the moment. Pretty accurate. We're gonna get it as accurate as we can. All right, and then there's a little roof piece here that we can might be able to find. All right, so I think we'd use yeah, it's up and down, so I want to use these pieces. And we're making that orange color. All right, now we gotta change the grid size. Because it's just hanging over. Like so. 
Alright, so that's going to be a roof piece right there. Sometimes I just like get like goosebumps every time I make something and then I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so close to the actual thing. <laughs> it makes me a little excited sometimes. Just knowing that I am building a uh, Silver Dollar City. There we go, and then the actual rest part of it is actually flat. Everything is just kind of like a facade, so it's not like real. Which is kind of an interesting uh, thing. Alright, so we'll bring down the supports. These are actually even with the deck, so I might have to bring the deck out just a little bit more. And these are kind of a creamish cream color. Kind of used as a support. I think I messed up on the roof. I overlapped some of them. Forgot that I was in the... Uh... There we go. All right, let's make sure we don't overlap. There we go. <laughs> Unless absolutely necessary. Then, well, uh, let's find... It's got some extensions here. See if there's any extension pieces that I could possibly use to my advantage. Let's take a look here. I don't think there are. Um, yeah, I don't think there is. At least for what I want. Uh, let's see if we go to the pitched roofs. Top edge, nope. Because they do kind of hang over just a little bit more. Yes, I go. I go that far into details sometimes. <laughs> if you never, if you don't know me, I go. I go more into de detail than I probably need to. Alright, this is a little oversized, but I have noticed. It is slightly oversized. In fact, I'm just going to lower this down a little bit. Ah, I forgot to hit some pieces. Ah. Knew I would miss a piece or so. Okay, that's selected. You just gotta get up in there and... Get up in there and get it all selected. Okay, I think I got it all. Yeah. There we go. Welcome to Silver Dollar City. I actually still need to get this uh, custom billboard uh, made. Or I actually need to get that picture of that uh, picture. Or that texture that goes in there. <laughs> and then I just match this color up with it. And it'll actually match up very, very nicely. Because I'm going to try and get some of the custom images to work with this. This is going to be pretty cool. So, all right. I don't think I got I got some pictures of the ticket booths, but I didn't get like up close. So, I might just hold off on that until I get some better pictures. But um, I'll make the basic shape. So I know fairly well. I know these very fairly well in here, so. Alright, so 
the exit's right there, so we need to make the ticket booths inside here. Alright, now there are one, two... I'd say at least three in here. Something like that. So we're going to go into the building. And they got kind of like this orange colors here, so we're just going to use that. So these are the going to be the ticket booths in here. Not lining up with the uh, thing at all. So if I moved this just slightly back, would that would that be okay? No, not really. <laughs> I wonder if it'd be easier to do that or mess with the path. Because I should have based the path off of that. And I didn't. Curses. You know what? I think we can deal with this. gonna make these full <laughs> and just make some borders around it that's gonna work it's going to work maybe probably not but it's going to I'm gonna try and make it work okay I know there's some lockers right here as well so anyways that's starting out pretty nicely look at that entrance for silver dollar city got the little mill thing rolling around we got some more parts of the building actually built so that's exciting that's cool very neat actually gonna go ahead and extend this piece the, this uh, out a little bit that way it matches up with the supports just go one more and I'm just gonna select these and go control X pull them out there we go And how about that? I don't know if I can get these any lower without them disconnecting. Oh yeah, does that look does that not look like Silver Dollar City's entrance? Don't lie to me. Alright, let me get some new or more reference photos and see what I can pulled together here. Maybe we can detail a little bit on this side of the building. On the Ozark Marketplace, as it's called. Which is pretty interesting, because now we got to... I'm going to find another different texture for this. It's got some windows on here. That we will use. This kind of goes up here like this. And we got some windows. It's pretty big windows too. I'd say we can use these. It's even one that I would say uses a 4x4 window here. 
Kind of like that. And there's about three different windows here. We got about, we got like two of these, almost. The middle one, it's one of those ones that just kind of pops out. And I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna build that one just yet, so we'll leave it open. Whoops. In between we have like these images and stuff that I'll also just kind of leave out at the moment. Since we don't really have an idea of what we're gonna do for that just yet. All right, so we got a little bit of a cover, so we're gonna change the grid size here. We actually have this little awning, kind of, in a way, over the windows, and it's kind of got a It's got this, well, let's go ahead and change that to that color. That will fit perfectly where we want it. The way we want it. This is gonna be Again, a very highly detailed version of Solar City, so I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm going all out on this build. All right. All right. So I think I finally have found. Finally have found what I want to do for this. So Thunderation Time Traveler is going to be over in this area back over here, and then I believe I will be able to easily fit Grand Exposition. And over here. Alright, Outlaw Run will be in the back of the park. I think I got an, I think I've got it worked out. Where I'm gonna have enough space <clears throat> to actually do stuff here. Okay. Alright, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so I don't know what I'm gonna do for the like guest spawners. I think I'm gonna make just like the outside of the uh, the bus area. There's actually a tram that goes right here. I'm gonna make part of that and then just make the spawner right there or something like that. So it looks like they're getting off the tram or something like that. Oh, I might even build a custom tram to resemble one of Sodar City's uh, trams. We'll see. So, going into the entrance, I think we're gonna work into a little bit into the entrance now. Now this is, you know, it's not fully flat land. It's not, but for now, in certain areas, I'm gonna keep it flat, but you know, obviously like Hill Street and going up to the cave and stuff, that's not gonna be flat. I'm not gonna have that flat. I'm actually gonna have the hills in there, but for a lot of places that are relatively flat, I'm gonna try and probably just keep it flat. For the most part. <clears throat> when, when we get to the cave and everything. Now I'm going to put the cave into the park. I'm going to have underground and everything. But it's going to be a very tricky thing to do. Uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to have the entire layout of uh, Marvel Cave in there. Okay, I'm just going to have like a walkthrough section so guests can walk through it. So I might even put stuff down there to attract some guests. Um, that way they'll actually walk through it. So it's kind of like the, t the cave tour and everything. <clears throat> so that'll be the idea behind that. Um, this entrance is looking pretty neat, pretty good. I got some more reference photos here that I can use. Right in front of the entrance, so. Okay, so we have this texture, and we have this uh, going right here, right by the a little gate here, the entrance gate. I'm going to I'm trying to find the best possible thing I can use here. 
wish I had a very like natural um, texture to use for or rock texture that's recolorable because I could use that in fact what is what is that one what is this one Um, what texture is that? I want that texture. It was one of the... No, it's not that one. It's, uh, one of these brick textures. I remember it now. How could I forget? I actually want to use that texture on this, so... Ah, it's this one. Haha. -ha. All right, so we're gonna change the color on this one. Have some. It's kind of more of a natural brown and some. This has some more, more like that color. Okay, so this is going to be a kind of like a curb. That's going to be rolling around, so we're going to have to curve it around everywhere so it's going to be kind of curvy and not like straight, so we're going to have to curve it around in some spots. Kind of an interesting little, little layout here. Because it's got to be perfect. Bring this out here, and it's going to start curving upwards towards this, I believe. I'm pretty sure. So I think I built this part already, but I'm redoing it though, because I need to redo it. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find a good spot. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Look at my reference photos again, of course. It's kind of just got this angle going on for it. It's kind of back and forth. Not not perfect, which helps me, because I'm I'm definitely not perfect at placing these. <laughs> And we're just going to place barriers underneath this as well. Oh, did I get a good shot of this? There's just like a lot of bushes and stuff in the way, so it's hard to actually see how this goes. All right, so I can't I can't express how many times I've probably have built this section. <laughs> I've built the entrance multiple times. I know that's probably getting um, boring to watch and everything uh, to see me do the same thing over and over. But um, I think we're getting somewhere this time. I really do. 
This time we got full control with the scenario, so the full control with everything here. So that's going to make it things just a little bit easier overall. And I think I'm going to throw in, I'm probably going to try and throw in some uh, bluegrass music and stuff throughout the park. Try and keep it, you know, as uh, authentic as possible. Oops. Accidentally changed the height. We don't want to do that. Alright, that's going to work for right now. It will work. Alright, I got some other... other spots here. The terrain actually rises a little bit here. We're not going to do that. <clears throat> but we do have the entrance here. So we're going to place down the entrance. What did I even name it? I thought it had the word entrance in it. I guess it saved all of this. <laughs> I see, okay. I guess I slightly messed up. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this, place it down. What parts don't I have? Oh, here we go. Yeah, see? I thought it was a different building, piece of building. See, I just broke it right off there. Where was this connected, though? Okay, so this is lined up with that piece right there. Okay. No problem. We just gotta sink this down into the ground. And I did it enough to where those aren't showing, so it'll be like that. See, we're not, we didn't lose, we're not losing any progress or anything. We're just advancing into a new world. All right, I can actually delete all these now. Don't remember saving all this, but I apparently I did. All right, so this will be where they enter into the park. And this is what scares me, because now the pathways are going to go berserk trying to get that connected uh, with this grid. So we'll try and try and our best and work it out. See, if I place these across here, I don't know if those are going to connect properly. But my goodness, we are going to find out. Yeah, we can connect them. Just like that. I can cover up those gaps if I need to. With whatever I can find. There we go. Now we're all connected with no issues. No issues whatsoever. So that's a good Silver Dollar City entrance right there. I can still connect these together, so 
we're gonna continue the pathway on down here and then we have another gate at the end here there is a small planter just off to the side there that we can easily build off of this building so we're just gonna have to use the same texture and everything as that I like that natural brick texture right here. And it's got a nice, beautiful tree hanging off of it. Hanging on the inside of it, so let's do that. Let's get that tree in there. Let's see what kind of tree we can place in there. It's pretty tall. A little taller than that one. Let's see, we got the oak trees. What about a small oak tree? No. Probably, probably won't work the best. Ooh, these are a good one. This will probably be a good good pick to go here. I actually like this tree a lot, so we're going to go with that one. There's actually quite a bit of bushes going on in here, just kind of like that. We can cover up the little asphalt section there. And there is a gate here. Well, actually... Is that a door? It is. It's like there's a door on either side of that, so... We are going to have to relocate our stuff here. Oh my. Grid size, you are going down. And we are putting you in the middle. Okay. Actually, I should just push move. Move. Ah. Uh. All right, not bad. All right, now we have room for those um, lovely little, whatever they're called, the, the lovely uh, the doors. <laughs> Don't know why I couldn't think of that. All right, well, they're kind of like pretty plain. Don't know if we have anything that will work for them. I have to create our own that custom one. They're literally just plain. Plain doors. With no window. All these have windows, so it's like I can't use them. Unless I used the outline of them. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, the closest one is like literally just this generic one. It's like the same thing, but without uh, the white, or without the, uh, the the window. So I got an idea here. We'll see how it works. All right, all these outlines are together like this. It's like the same texture. I think it is the same texture. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is... We're going to try and look into the art shapes. And just maybe we can find something here. Just 
Just use that wonderful angle snap. That's pretty good width there, right there, and we're just gonna do that. And all we're doing is covering up the window. That's the idea behind it. And we will keep the doorknob. Because again, that's the idea behind it. Alright, I should be able to just select all of this. Deselect that, and now I just have the door to put on this side, too. Aw, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, now the gate, and it's kind of... picket fence-ish. So, I am going to take a look at the... Where's the picket fence? Am I going to use it like this? I am going to actually... Use it in a way that I don't think anyone's ever used before. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to change the color to the cream color that we need. going to be interesting if I do that. Ah. All right. So again, this is going to be interesting. Trying to use these in a very unique way, but it won't let me select them <laughs> by itself. Like, ah, frustrations. Okay. That's why you do it somewhere, or you make it somewhere else. And then you just like move. We'll just move it into to position. Like you, you just see how I'm doing it over it, and it's not selected. Hey, it selected it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you back here so I can select you easier. And we're gonna create a nice little fence here. And there's a little door that goes back here next to this. So somehow, some way, we will create a door frame. Don't ask me how, but we will. This is out too far. Alright, select and build our way down. We can just do it this way. It will be okay.
But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Because I am. Alright, we have that, and then we have the actual gate. I'll actually go over here. There's actually a gate that goes here. So what we're going to do is, I think I'm going to place some columns or beams, whatever you want to call them here. Uh, I'm not going to place those because I need a different color. And it's like a very barn. All right, so I actually think I know what I want to use here. I think I got an idea. So I'm going to use head and type wood and use these. We're going to go ahead and align the surface. create a little bit more uniqueness if I rotate these every time. We'll also create a, in the middle we'll create a little bit of a small gap. I guess I could just could have just been doing that the whole time. Alright, so we will... Then there's kind of like this uh, varnish kind of design on it. Let's go with this. Make it the same color. Da, da, da. And we will rotate it. Or I can go corner to corner. Oh, perfect. But I couldn't do that again. Alright, it's exactly the same, so we can just actually copy this to the other side. Alright, so since I uh, line this up a little better, we're going to actually delete that piece. And I'm going to move this over like that. There we go. And we got a gate. And that's shaping up to what it needs to be. So. Let's 
Go ahead and save the park. Sword RC scenario, save scenario. Resume. Welcome to Silver Dollar City. I'll tell you what, that axe, that freaking axe took so long to make. And I'm glad I got it done. <laughs> Alright, so more. Let's see what's next. Yeah, and I got Google Earth up. Don't know. I haven't been using that lately. Perhaps I should. I love how everything is 2D except for the Silver Dollar City sign. Don't know why they did that, but they did. Okay, so we got a couple planters. There is guest relations. I can see it. On there. And then the entrance. Silver Dollar City. And it just curves around the hole in the ground where the cave is. If we, if I zoom out here, there's the entrance. Thunderation, if we go on the same roughly the same scale. It's about right here. So. It's lift hill and final drop is about right here. Which means time traveler will be roughly around this area. And going down this way, I think we'll have plenty of room for the grand exposition, which makes me really excited. Really happy. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I was just there for looks. But this is coming along. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is coming along? I think it's coming along really good. I like to hear what you guys think. I don't think I need this fence anymore. Go ahead and get rid of it. Now, there are steps from this door down here. In the slightest. Just a little bit of terrain stuff right there <laughs> that will implement. Because again, the terrain in this park is just ridiculous. And that's going to be the hardest part about this park is just the terrain is just ridiculously hard to deal with. It's uh, just difficult to deal with. And... But man, it's going to turn out really good. I'll tell you what. Alright, let's build a couple more pathways coming out of the entrance here. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Alright, so a difficult situation here is we're going to have to use the... We're going to have to actually use some curved pathways. So it's going to be a little difficult to uh, know how we're going to do that. And I've built the rentals booth before, and I think I might go grab it instead of rebuild it. All right, so I'm going to save scenario. So all the work we've done, 
again, is not actually, you know, going to be replaced or anything. I'm actually using those buildings I've already built, and I'm just importing it into this world. Alright, so let's go ahead and... This is the first uh, world I think I worked worked on. The one I'm going to go into here. And it is way down here because I haven't opened it up in a while. Here it is, SDC. Let's go ahead and open it up. I got a couple of buildings I want to save on this that uh, I kind of want to put in as well. Here we are. See, as you can tell, I already started out in the hospitality house and the cave, actually. Which actually was not very good, so I'm going to completely redo that one anyways. As you can see, here's the rentals booth. Rentals and lost and found. Never very past heading. This is the first stab at it. I think it's a lot. I've done a lot better. I'm just going to see if there's anything I wanted to take out of this. Candy factory. I might at least grab this building. Possibly. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do yet. Just kind of like the uh, bakery building. I'm thinking about redoing that one as well. It's just been so long since I've been in this one. So... I know, because I originally wasn't going to have that entrance. I am now, since we have more space to work with. As you can see, the border is here. It's now, like, way back here now. So, that's nice to have. Because before, yeah, there's no way I would have fit everything in here. But now we got that little extra space, so... I think we can do it. We have the hospitality house that I was working on. I think I'm going to redo all this now that I'm looking at it. I think I can make it better. So I'm not losing everything, just a couple of things. Alright, let's reopen the scenario. Edit scenario. And once we get to the Outlaw Run section, we've already pretty much done that, so there's not really anything to work on over there. Okay, so this is going to this is gonna this is gonna be hard. Again, this is the hardest part. The hardest part is starting to use the terrain working around the cave because it's going to be difficult I know that so we're going to have to create a beautiful thing here so let's let me get my reference photos up and see what I can find because it's a lot, really hard to see these on like Google Earth and stuff and I took these reference photos quite a long time ago for the rentals booth and everything. Actually, I don't think I took any of those. Oh, crap. So I'm actually at... I, I used what I could on... I uh, actually found Silver Dollar City Entrance. Let's see, I need to find something... Ah, oh, that wasn't good. Sort of our city rentals? Maybe that'll come up. <laughs> I think I used a or watched a video and paused it as it was um as it was walking around. I think that's what I did. If I remember correctly. I 
If I remember it correctly, I think that's what I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and find that video. I think I remember what it was. And it get, had some good shots of the front gate and everything. It had the rentals booth in there, the, the uh, Ozark Marketplace. That's why I got those so good. All right, so. Now I just gotta find the correct. The correct thing here. Alright, there's an entrance shot there. But this is the incorrect video, I believe, so... I think it was another video. I thought there was another video. Where is it at? Ah. Uh... I think I, I think I found it. I think I found it. Let me get my good shots here. It's got some good shots in here. All right, here's the hospitality house. Oh, here we go. There's a good shot of the rentals booth right there. All right, I got a good shot here. So because of that, I won't be able to look at comments at the moment or anything like that. So just bear with me for a minute. It's a very interesting kind of building. I will say that. So it's got... I could make it functional and actually put like a information kiosk in there. Which I think actually would be a good idea. So we're going to do that. So it's going to throw off the way it looks just a little bit, but that's okay. I'll make that risk just to make it functional and fun. So we're going to go information. And there's actually something I could use in here. Information booth. So I'm just going to build the building here. And this is how this is going to roll here. So we're going to go find the textures we need. So we're going to use this texture. It's already pretty close to the color we want. It is just a little brighter. I'd say it's closer to the orangish color. All right, and I almost wouldn't even say it's a full two pieces here. It's kind of in between. There's no half pieces, so it's actually going to be difficult. The best I can do is actually go into grid size and do that. That's actually what I'm going to have to do, so. Okay, so we've got some trims on this building. And I think I'm going to use the art shapes. Just because I think it will work a little bit better. So angle snap. Change these to that cr nice cream color. Yeah, I think this will, this will definitely look a little bit better than I was going to use, so. 
for sure. And this will actually go, I'll actually do this first. Right, and there is a piece right here. And then the top piece is just going to be just slightly above. And we'll just Close the gap here. All right, like so. Go piece right there. And the booth is also outlined. it as best as we can Let's see if I can't get a smaller piece going in here because it's just a little bit too big for this so we will do it this way Might lower it, this just a little bit. It's going through her. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> I have to just leave it that way. I think it'll be alright. Alright, there's a little sign up here. Let's go ahead and get the roof on this piece. That might be a little bit too much there. I need something smaller. Something I can place anywhere. Maybe if I go to roof trims. Yeah, this will work. Oh, I can actually just kind of use this to my liking. That will work right there, and then we are going to get the roof kind of going here. It's very, very kind of awkward here how this is going to work, but we're going to make it work. You can count on that. We will make it work. This is a very weird... Or awkwardly shaped building. Hmm. down it's a point it starts to go down and then it doesn't I don't know 
Yikes. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do this for now. It's gonna work. Gotta have that attitude. It's gonna, it's gonna work. Alright, let's get a full piece over here. Alright, so this is going to be the one of the trickier parts. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't think I can do this. I'm thinking about just leaving it the way it is and uh, going with that. Like, no joke. It will be the one inaccuracy that no one will uh, will notice. <laughs> All right, it's going to be the one inaccuracy that uh, no one's going to notice. Because there's just no way I can... There's not really any way I could do this, so... But it's not, like, a huge deal, so... Not, not the Z hugest deal in the world. So I'm just going to continue with this, like that. All right. This is essentially pretty much the rentals booth. And even though it's got some inaccuracies, it will be all right. Because I essentially could have made it a part of this building here. It's supposed to be. Like, it, like it's supposed to be, but... Where the fun? Where would the fun be in that? I guess. Uh, whatever. Okay. Gonna throw a couple paths in here. Just need you to fit in there. Oh boy. I got all this weird stuff going on here, but that's okay. I think I know how I'm going to cover this up. Maybe. I'm not sure. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to use the scenery objects. We're going to use the new barrier. And I actually have blue. Right. Blue barrier.
And this is going to be sort of a queue line for the booth here. Alright, that'll work. For sure. <laughs> I got like the showboat ticket booth. There's the bakery. I'm watching this video trying to get some shots that I need. Turn to your left, turn to your left, turn to your left. I need to see that building. I guess I'm not gonna see that building. Darn it. All right, now it's time to start the tricky part. A little bit. See, I can use this tool to my advantage. I just gotta find that right angle that I want. Because I don't want it very steep. So you can get that precise angle that you want. Maybe just a little bit less here. If you do it right, that's all we got to do. All right, so I think I got an idea how I can do this. Okay, so we're going to pull this up right here. We're going to do flatten the surface. And we are literally just going to flow this where we want. And we just gotta smooth that last part out. Oh gosh, I didn't do that. Right. There we go. So we're just gonna... I keep selecting different th pieces, parts, places that I don't want. Okay. So I'm just going to create a big surface area here. Because remember, we are going uphill. And I want this to be a smooth transition. See, I don't know why that changes every time. See, it changes. I don't want it to change. I, I wish it would stay the same. All right, we need... what? I got it. I got it. And then we're just going to click the smooth tool just to pinch here when we go into the transition into this spot. Okay, so flatten the surface. See where, where it's all white? That's where we need to go. Okay, so I think I got this down of how this part, how I'm going to be able to do this park thoroughly all right so we're gonna do length or we're gonna do width here let's 
So this is always going to be the toughest part of this park. It's just getting this correct. This is the way I want it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back in here and we're just going to... Take angle snap off. And this is literally just going to go up here a little bit. And we're going to hit the hospitality house. Alright, I think that's a good angle there. I'm very, very happy how, that, how that's going to be. So, and then... I'm going to head to the terrain here, smooth this out just a little bit over on the side. I'm going to try and expand the pathway this way as much as I can by using a trick. that what we're going to do. We're going to smooth this out. So that's all going to be like right there. There we go. And I can put that one place right there. And I can expand this further out to wherever I need it. So that's going to be very, very helpful in the end. So uh, we have that and then we have the start of the bakery over here I don't have any good reference photos but I do have this video which does give me a glimpse of it okay I know they have the storage for the strollers right off to the side here so that's there all right, so there's a fence right here. Let's see if we can't find a good fence. Still relatively flat here, so that's gonna be good. I'm gonna try and put some extra barriers here. Maybe I can't uh, find a good, a good color here. That actually looks pretty good. If I sink it in there, no one will even notice that this is a, a different part of path. They just, you know, had to do some some work on these paths. That's what that's what we're gonna go with. See? Can't hardly even notice. Can't even notice. All right. I will have to test all this out eventually to make sure all this stuff will work. So let's get started on this fence. Why not? I make this a building piece, so I'm just going to sink this into the ground. And I think I'm going to use an existing fence with a slight touch for this one. This one shouldn't be too hard. So I think I'd take this wooden fence and just make it to... Oh, maybe not that one. Might be able to use that fence, I don't know. Yeah, no. honest maybe if I turn the picket fence upside down again all right so if I do that let's make this the color it needs to be it's kind of like a brown color darker brown Place that there, and then it kind of has like that. Yeah, that's gonna. That is gonna work. I'll tell you what. Let's 
Let's go ahead and turn angle snap off. Boy, that's a beautiful fence. I actually like that. I might use this method more often. All right, it's gonna rotate just a pinch over this way as it connects with the uh, bakery. So I'm gonna rewind the video just a pinch. And now that we have picnic benches, oh, get ready for this. We're gonna be able to use this on the picnic benches. That's right. But we might have to uh, slightly do this. Okay. Zoom out. All right, that's probably gonna be the best picture I can get for what I can see right now. I thought I had some reference photos of this building deep down into my phone that I took actually about a year ago. So I'm gonna zoom past here. Ah, I did. I found some pictures. It's during Christmas time, so there's lights everywhere, but... Ah, that's all I got right now. I believe that's the taffy shop right there. I didn't get a great shot of it, so I'm just gonna use what I have. There's some trees here. Might have to try and expand the pathways out a little bit here. I can actually do this. Then if I select this grid, I might be able to create these little tree spots here. I gotta be careful because of the terrain over here. Expand this out just a little bit more. Gotta find a spot where it's all white. There, there we go. part doesn't matter as much so we're just gonna press the smooth tool call it good hope I don't know if we could put benches. hopefully we could put picnic benches back here I don't know if you can put them on a slanted area I really hope you can because if not that would be kind of Disappointing. Okay, let me rewind just a little bit more. See how that all connects there. This is going to be that tree right there. What if I turn the width up? See if I can fit it in here. Wow, come on, just connect. 
I'll have to settle for that. <laughs> Maybe I can... Whoops. Do that. That will work. At least for now. <laughs> for now. Okay, so I'm going to have to check. I don't know if it's possible. Let's, let's see. Otherwise, we're going to have to make non-functional picnic benches here. I don't know if you can put them on slopes. Nope, you can't. Ah, uh, come on, Frontier. Work with me just a little bit, man. Work with me just a little bit. I'm going to have to make these non-functional picnic benches. Uh, I think this is actually level, though. Just for the, the building. So, I have an idea. Let's go ahead and delete all these. All right. And we are going to select the terrain, flatten the surface, turn the size down quite a bit here so I don't mess anything up. And I'm going to make this flat. For this section, it's always hard to it, it's difficult to build <laughs> a building on an, a slanted surface. It's always hard. And I might have to get used to that because of Silver Dollar City. Because you're going to see that a lot with Silver Dollar City. So. Silver Dollar City is half of their shops are on slants, so. But this way I'm going to be able to at least put a couple down. I don't know how many. Probably not a whole lot, but I will be able to put down a couple. Because there's just a couple in here, so um, it won't be the most ridiculous thing ever. I'm actually going to go ahead and smooth this out a little bit. Try and get that get that area where it's nice. All right, I have to get the music going again just in a minute. See if I can't. Nope. Not gonna not, not there. Uh pull this out just a little bit. Alright, and the moment of truth. If I can just put a couple down here, I'd be happy. And I can. Sweet. Alright, now these tables and benches are kind of different. It's just like it's it's actually more like a table with chairs if you will. That's what it actually is. But these actually fit it the best, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick with these for now. So I'll just put a couple of these around over here. That way guests can still get through there and if they want to go inside the bakery. Um, which I'm going to, again, try and make everything as functional as possible. That is going to be the goal. Make everything as functional as possible. So. I don't know how long ago it was asked, but what coaster do you think will go to SDC after Time Traveler? That's a good question. I don't think it'll, it'll be quite a few years before we see another coaster, but um, looking into the future, who knows? I, I actually could not tell you. It is a good question. If 
I had to guess, some sort of B&M maybe, but that's just a guess. I'd say B&M flying coaster, B&M dive, something like that, along those lines maybe. If I had to guess. Someone is knocking on my front door. Who could this be? I actually have no idea. Okay. But man, we got quite a bit done here at the entrance here. I can't wait to get into further into it, but I think we go ahead and end the live stream here. It's been fantastic. We got a lot done. And I actually need to get something to eat, though. <clears throat> and to answer a quick question, did I see Tim Tracker when they went to STC? Yes, I did. I saw the episode, and I saw them in person, so that was cool. Um, it was nice to see them there. I was actually very excited. It was really cool. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. When we come back, um, we are going to work more on here. We're going to probably build the bakery, build this one building on this side, and maybe even start getting into the hospitality house and cave area and uh, start getting up to the square. So maybe when I'm at the park real soon, I'll get some more reference photos as much as I can of what I need once I get around to those areas. So it's been really fun. I, I'm going to be, I'm very excited. I think I'm going to be able to fit everything in the park this time. So this is, I think this is, the, this is the one this time. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for some more awesome content like this. And I will catch you guys next time. Make sure you have a great day. Even cooler tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys. And goodbye.